Mikael learns to draw. Dudley Ellington had trouble in school. He wasn't very good at paying attention, and it took him a long time to learn new things. When Dudley didn't know how to do his homework, he would think about racing cars and rocket ships and fi fidget in his seat. Most teachers lost their patience with Dudley Ellington, but not Miss Mikau, the teacher in room 10. She was the best teacher Dudley had ever had. When Dudley didn't understand something, Miss Mikau would explain it over and over until it made sense. And if anyone made fun of Dudley, Ms. Mikau would ask them to stop. Ms. Mikau taught her class about the moon and stars, volcanoes, dinosaurs, owls, and butterflies. She was so smart, the children in room 10 thought their teacher knew everything. Until one day, they watched her trying to draw a, a person's face on the board. She tried and tried and tried some more, but finally she gave up, saying, I just can't do it. I don't know how. Poor Miss Mikau. No matter how hard I try, she said sadly, I cannot figure out how to draw a face from the side. The children in room 10 were stunned. They sat there looking at their teacher. No one knew what to do. Until somebody called out, Don't worry, Miss Mikau, I'll show you how. As the rest of the class watched in surprise, Dudley Ellington and Miss Mikau changed places. Dudley stood at the board with his heart beating fast. He had never drawn a person's face, be face from the side before, but he knew how Miss Mikau felt and he wanted to help her. So he took a deep breath and said, When you look at someone's face from the front, you see both eyes and both ears. But when you look at someone's face from the side, you see on only one eye and one ear. From the side, you see a profile, the shape of the forehead, nose, lips, and chin. Then Doodley picked up a pen and slowly drew a forehead and a nose. He drew two small bumps for the person's lips and a bigger bump for the chin. Then he drew an eye and an eyebrow and some curly hair on top. I still don't understand, said Ms. Mikau. Could you do it again, please? So Doodley drew another face. This one had a flat forehead and a round nose. It had a flat top lip, a bottom lip that stuck out, a long chin, and prickly hair. But again, Ms. Mikau asked, Could you repeat that, please? So Dudley Ellington went on drawing. He drew someone with a big forehead and a little nose, and someone else with a little forehead and a big nose. He drew someone whose eyes were shut and someone else whose mouth was open.
Dudley drew an old person with a wrinkly line, a happy person with a bouncy line, an angry person with a fierce line, and an unhappy person with a sad line. Dudley Ellington kept on drawing, adding hair and hats and glasses and freckles, until the entire board was covered. Dudley gave his teacher a piece of paper and a pencil and said, Go on, draw a forehead. Any sort of forehead. You can do it, Miss Mikau. When Miss Mikau hesitated, a few kids giggled, but Dudley Ellington asked them to stop. And very slowly, Miss Mikau drew a face from the side. Now the teacher in room 10 was smarter than ever. She canceled the math test that she'd been planning for the afternoon, handed out paper and pens and announced that the rest of the day would be dedicated to drawing. Thanks to Doodley Ellington.